Hartford Hospital now with more on this. Mike. Yeah, Mark and Irene, part of the issue is that if we do see any kind of rise in cases tied to the holidays, it won't show up in the numbers until mid to late January. But that's also when students will be coming back to campus. So some schools are already saying that they will require testing when students come back and other options are on the table. One way that we can be prepared is really to ensure that our students are starting this semester as healthy and safe as possible. As the University of New Haven wraps up its fall semester, it's already looking at changes for the spring classes because of COVID. For starters, students who have not had a booster shot by January 14th will need to take a test when they get back on campus. The concern? That's also when we'll see the first signs of a COVID surge. Because by then you've passed, you know, the, the winter holidays, New Year's. UConn and the Connecticut State Colleges and Universities say so far they're not making any changes. But Quinnipiac said based on the current trends and to best position us for a successful start to the spring semester, Quinnipiac has decided to require all students, vaccinated and unvaccinated, to submit a negative COVID-19 test before they return in January. Doctors say schools should be ready to be proactive. When it comes to thinking about students, you know, all of the layers of protection are going to come into play. Other options include virtual classes to start the spring semester. UNH says its vaccination rate is around 97%. Will it require boosters? Right now, we have not made a decision to require booster vaccinations, um, but the writing is on the wall. You know, I think it's a matter of time before that happens. Doctors continue to say everyone should get a booster shot to protect themselves from COVID, especially as the highly contagious Omicron variant continues to spread. I, th I think the booster has the impact both in restoring immunity that may be waning, but also it does seem to, to really elevate um, the level of antibodies um, overall. Doctors expect Omicron will become the dominant variant in the next week or two. Early indicators are that it's less severe than Delta, but because Omicron is more transmissible, doctors want to see just how much less severe it is. We actually need the disease to be a lot more mild. We need it to be the common cold. Now that official from the University of New Haven says that for them, it doesn't really matter which strain we're talking about. They understand why researchers want to know the, the uh, makeup of the Omicron strain, but for them, it doesn't matter which strain is dominant. They're going to use the same strategies if there's a rise in cases. Live from Hartford, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Mike, thank you very much. New right now at 6.